Hey kids, welcome to our 10th episode of Stock Car Steel and SRI's Fun with Fabrication with me, Chase Forbes. Well kids, before we get started, I have to tell you some bad news and some good news. The bad news is that this is the last episode of Fun with Fabrication. But the good news is it's the last episode of Fun with Fabrication for the first season. So we're going to do something a little bit different with our videos over the next coming weeks and uh, just try to keep things fresh and different, change it up here for a little while and we'll come back possibly with the second season of Fun with Fabrication, another 10 episodes. Anyway, thank you for watching our first 10 episodes, and I've had a lot of fun. Uh, I hope you all did too. And if you didn't learn anything, you probably didn't. At least you know you can visit us at StockCarSteel.com as your best source for purchasing metal online. And for all of your fabrication supplies, check us out at SRI-Supplies.com. As always, we have lightning fast shipping, huge inventories, and no minimum orders. Now, let's go have some fun with fabrication for our last episode. I'm currently sitting on the back of a utility trailer right now, and as you can see behind me, this little lift gate right here, that's made out of something called expanded metal. And you can see this little intertwined crisscross pattern. It's great for a lot of things, uh, building utility trailers, or in some cases, people like to use it as an accent piece on their doors and windows. I guess some people like to feel like they're living in prison, but to each their own, I suppose. Expanded material is also really good for putting down in places where you need a little bit of traction. A lot of oil gets spilled here in the tube grinding shop, so our buddy Michael here has put a piece of expanded material so he doesn't slip and fall. We don't want any lawsuits around here. See, this cabinet right here is also made out of an expanded material. When you need a lot of ventilation, such as this cabinet where we're keeping propane tanks, expanded material is going to provide that for you. And you always got to be safe around your propane and propane accessories. But the best use for expanded material is this right here. I went over to Nitro Manufacturing and had them bend up a nice little sort of sine wave looking thing and now we have a perfect rack for grilling seafood. and. You can even put corn and hot dogs and all that kind of stuff on there as well. And remember kids, don't be shellfish, share with your co-workers. Mm -hmm.